Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce to you Firehose. It's a small gateway I wrote which uh, fetches metrics from any Java e application you like and converts them to Prometheus compatible format according to Prometheus best practices. What is Prometheus? It's a nice tool which uh, I think is written in Go. It's a very lean, lean tool which is able to gather so like time series data from several hundred sources and stores them very efficiently and provides a really nice visualizations. So what Firehose is, it comes as a microservice, you can of course, or, or war, 60k in war, um, microservice based on Tommy, and it exposes a, a URI, Firehose resources matrix and matrix name, and uh, also it comes with a sample Docker Compose file, which I would like to launch. So uh, Docker Compose up compose up minus D. So it should create the network and all the services. So everything is launched. If you go here and see all the microservices launched. So we have this uh, actual Prometheus and we have the Firehose and our sample service. And the sample service is the actual example. So um, this is what happens here. So um, this is a, a very simplistic um, or simplistic Java E sample service with application name sample service, uh, component matrix resource, units request, suffix total and value, whatever. And important thing is this application component unit suffix and value are the uh, the components of a, a Prometheus uh, matrix, which are suggested as a best practice. So I just, just took them. And um, so if you, if you just um, expose a JSON object with the format, so a firehose will take it. It could of course overwrite um, the uh, the conventions with your own stuff and expose it to Prometheus. So um, how to override that? It's um, actually within the uh, matrix env, as you can see here. My Firehose sample service application is renamed to sample service and the, and the reason is sample service, uh, um, so dashes are not allowed in uh, Prometheus, so I had to rename that as an example. And of course, what uh, Prometheus will have to know, you know, how where is the URI? And uh, it says, okay, uh, or Firehose will have to know where is the URI. And it says, okay, uh, the sample service URI is this, and it becomes available under the name sample service. So, so it started, and uh, we can, of course, con use uh, RESTful web services, you know, to uh, gather the statistics or uh, uh, to configure Firehose as well. So you can use the environment variables or use uh, uh, curl for configuration. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I will go here and say localhost 1990. This is Prometheus and Prometheus answers. And immediately there should be here the statistics. You see the sample service matrix results request total. So this is what uh, Prometheus found. I can just go to the graph and you can see here statistic is online so um yeah it works um so this was uh, easier than thought a uh, brief uh, introduction to uh to uh to firehose and prometheus what we of course could do let's see docker ps and the sample service is available under the port 8282 so we could, of course, go here and say localhost 8282 sample service resources, I hope, matrix is the URI. Yes, it is. And I could invoke this several times. And here you will see, okay, you know, the graph changed. So, um, you see it works and it's really useful. Of course, it's very first version. What I plan to do is to have some kind of translator which is configurable. And of course, scrape, you know, even application servers with the same tool and make uh, whatever, uh, whatever JSON statistic available for Prometheus immediately. So um, thank you for watching. Um, see you in upcoming workshops. There is a monitoring workshop where we play a lot with Prometheus and, and, um, and Firehose. Um, um, in Munich Airport and even conferences, you know, Java One is almost around the corner. And um, thank you. Bye.